Hey Aquarius Collective, what's up y'all? Welcome to the channel, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me. Let's get into your reading. What's coming in this week for the Aquarius Collective? Y'all, I'm sorry, I didn't even realize this thing was on here shaking like this. <laughs> I mean, I've been doing that on all my readings. They've probably been shaking the whole time. All right, let's see what's going on with the Aquarius Collective. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. All right, we have, um, you can't have a positive AF life with a negative AF mind. Y'all know what AF mean? I ain't going to say it. If you find yourself with a head full of crap, go watch some videos of babies laughing or goats excitement fainting or old people cursing. It's helpful to think of laughing as a mental pooper scooper. You got to get the turds out so you have room for fresh and lovely thoughts. Okay, so what y'all need to release? You know, are you holding on to something? I know y'all can be stubborn just like me. So I ain't even trying to beat you up, but you know. Let's see what this is about. If you are having like really negative thoughts, that definitely does block manifestation. So if you're trying to manifest something, even just your own peace of mind, Spirit is wanting you to, um, wow, Aquarius did come out. I'm not going to take that though, but let's see. If it comes out again, I will. I, oh my God, I just need one card. I'm just going to take what's on top here. What do we have here? We have Y2K. Huh. This is about a glitch in the matrix. Conspiracy theory apocalypse. It feels like things are falling apart. Some of y'all are Generation Z. So you're born in the late 90s, some of you. Or after the year 2000. So you will be in your 20s. Some of y'all are in your 20s right now who are watching me. Well, I do have 20-something year olds that watch me. But this is like something ain't going right. Something ain't going right. It's a glitch in the matrix. We have build. Okay. It could have been something you were trying to build for yourself or with someone else. Okay. What else? Or there could be a glitch, meaning like the negative thoughts are blocking something that you're trying to build. We have a string of bad luck. Wow. A lot of financial issues. Some of y'all money been tight lately. You just feel like the whole world is against you. You feel like you're kind of like outcasted right now, disturbing the peace. Something has disturbed your peace. What is happening, Aquarius? I don't usually get this kind of energy from y'all. Okay. What's Y2K? Oh my God, the devil. Capricorn. Some of y'all could be on the Capricorn Aquarius cusp or dealing with a Capricorn. Yeah, there is a glitch in the matrix. What's this devil? That's something toxic. That's ego. That's negative attachments. Wow, the five of pentacles. Some of y'all, somebody been trying to mess with y'all finances or something. I don't know if this is some kind of addiction that's left somebody in the poor house. Things just feel like it's falling apart, though, with the devil being here with this five of pentacles. This is like really bad luck. I just heard it's, kar it's karmic, though. This could also be somebody so money hungry that they, you know, sometimes people do things out of desperation for money and it could have backfired on them. Both of these cards represent insecurity as well. Somebody could have left you out in the cold. They could have an addiction. Hmm. May um, 15th could be significant. Could be a Taurus for some of you. What is this? What is this? Something fell apart. Yeah, the Hierophant fell in reverse. Why does the Hierophant and the devil keep coming out together? What the, it's a lot of spiritual warfare going on. This is spiritual warfare, y'all. More Taurus energy. This could be somebody you were married to, though. This could be somebody who was addicted to um, sex, y'all. Because the Hierophant in reverse can represent somebody that's into really, really wild <laughs> sex. Or some of you got blindsided by this person. This could represent blind faith, like just going along to get along. Somebody was a hypocrite. They wanted you to play by the rules, but they didn't want to play by the rules. Yeah, that, that's what disturbed your peace here. Okay, this will be causing you to have a lot of negative self thoughts and low self esteem. Somebody could have messed with your self esteem because they cheated on you. However, for in reverse, can represent infidelity. It can represent um, rebelliousness. Just like you two not being on the same page. Somebody got bored in the connection because they were drawn into this devil energy. Show me build. Six of pentacles. You want equal give and take. More Taurus energy. You Some of y'all got Taurus placements or dealing with the Taurus. Okay. All right, Aquarius. Let's try this again. Build with the six of pentacles. Now we got the high priestess. Now this is the counterpart to the hierophant. So the masculine in this situation did not appreciate the divine feminine. High Priestess is Divine Feminine Energy also represents secrets. They could have kept you as the other woman or they could have had another woman. I actually feel like this is you, Aquarius. Now, this is Pisces Cancer Energy, but I feel like this is you. 
Okay, so there's a lot going on here. I tell you what, there's some breathing room coming in your finances. There could be a windfall of money coming in or some generosity from someone coming in. This could represent generosity too. I feel like you gave a lot to somebody. They could have kept you a secret or they could have like hid their feelings from you. They could have had their guards up. Maybe this person has trust issues or something. Hmm. Some of y'all looking at tarot a lot, but be a, a reader yourself. Tarot, you could have got a tarot, could have gotten a tarot reading that made you realize something about your person and that made you start planning. This is like strategic planning. Show me a string of bad luck. Wow, the tower. Somebody is like filing bankruptcy or something here or taking a lot of financial losses, y'all. It's a lot of disarray in somebody's finances or their stability. Like the foundation has been shaken. And then we end with the Queen of Swords, Libra energy. We got um, Aries and Scorpio here. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Hmm. Yeah, it's like I feel like this world, this person's world is falling apart now that you turned your back. I feel like that's you. Queen of Swords can also be Aquarius or Gemini, but it is a Libra card. But air sign energy. Hmm. Bottom of the, oh my God, yeah, oh my God, yeah. This person tried to juggle you and they are in deep regret. They're taking a lot of losses, y'all. They're hitting a the rock bottom without you. It could be a Gemini, it could be a Scorpio, it could be a Capricorn. Yeah, you're taking your love elsewhere. Some of y'all just focus on your children and your money right now. Let's get a couple of these cards. What do we have here? We have travel. An upcoming trip proves to be life-changing in positive ways. Okay. Page of course can be aviation. So some of y'all could be like traveling. He loves to travel. We have winter. Some of y'all are going on a trip this winter. The answer to your prayers and affirmations are fully realized in the winter month. Something you're praying for is coming this winter. Um, I just feel you getting back on your feet, being a little more discerning. Then we have spring. And it says your desires fully manifest as the flowers begin to bloom. So you're going to realize something in the winter months, but it may play out fully in the uh, spring. Bottom of the deck, some of you have a son. Message about your son. Your son is watched over and protected as he explores the world. Okay. Well, those are your messages, Aquarius. Like, comment, subscribe. I will see you all next time. Thank you so much for joining me. You know what? I'm going to let y'all go to... Um, I'm going to let this tick down just a little bit more because I need to get to eight minutes. I need to be at eight minutes. This makes more sense. I'm almost there. <laughs> y'all wouldn't understand that if y'all don't do um youtube but there's a reason all right y'all so we're at eight minutes i'm gonna go ahead and let y'all go like comment subscribe um we can't comment but like subscribe hit the notification bell and i'll see y'all next time um y'all gonna get basically back-to-back -back readings though i think i think all right peace y'all